We welcome you under the lights of Friday night. What a fun time of year. It's week five of the high school football season, which means the league race is starting to get interesting. And in the Western Buckeye League, we had three teams, 4-0, entering tonight. One of them, St. Mary's. Listen to these numbers. 47 points a game for Doug Fry's club. 23 rushing touchdowns the first four games. 434 yards of offense per night. And the second string and the freshmen have been a part of that in the second half. The ninth rated Riders 4-0 visiting Elida tonight. Bulldogs with two Western Buckeye League losses, but both by just five points. Identical 12-7 setbacks to start their season in their first four games. And the Rider Rooters pumped up, leading 14-0 in the second. The Bulldogs trying to run their way back in quarter number two. Cole Harmon, first down pickup for the junior, but the St. Mary's pressure's tough. How about the sack by big William Payham? Forces a punt. The no fly zone of Elida living up to the name, forcing Dustin Howe out of the pocket. Trey Roberts forces the fumble. Riders get it back, but they have to punt. Here comes D'Angelo Woods on the grounder, taking off, cuts it back to the middle of the field. Finally pushed down across the E at midfield. Elida does recover the fumble. Fourth and two. A couple plays later, Isaac McAdams keeps it first down yardage for him. It works so well. Why not again? This time he makes it all the way to the end zone. 23 yard strike. Elida draws within seven at 14-7. Ensuing kickoff. Look at the patience of the senior Eric Spicer. Letting his block set up. Tiptoeing through. Gets it all the way across midfield to the 48 of Elida. Could the uh, Rough Riders get back up by two scores. Julius Fisher doing his part. 33 yard line, he's finally pulled down first down. He had 26 carries, 120 yards and a touchdown, but fourth and two, Roberts gets in the backfield again. Turnover on downs. Elida would punt it back before the half. St. Mary's play action fake works beautifully, fakes out everybody as Hal finds Spicer. 51 yard touchdown for number seven. 21-7, under 30 seconds left in the half. McAdams to Cowlin Henderson out near midfield. So that gives McAdams a chance at a Hail Mary. Can he reach the end zone? Well, Julius Fisher, we mentioned his offensive numbers. He can get up and get the ball to interception. Spicer goes 13 carries, 135 yards, two touchdowns. St. Mary's 5-0 as they win this one 35-7 in very impressive form. You saw the touchdown catch for Spicer as well. 